Hey everybody, welcome back. I am James. This is Mrs. Rattle Can's Week in Review number six. Um, we did some work in the crawl space this week. Um, there was a bunch of construction debris from, well, 1955. And uh, so I, I got all of that um, uh, swept up and gathered. Um, concrete rocks, that type of stuff. Um, I used it as fill in the excavated area. And if it was wood or metal, I, uh, I took it out and put it in the, in the garbage. I, I don't really, I mean the wood is kind of self-explanatory because if it does get moist down there, you don't want wood rotten. Um, metal, I just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, if I'm putting this liner down, this pretty expensive liner, I don't want these things poking up through my liner. Um, I excavated on the back side of the repaired foundation crack um, and uh, repaired it. it. It was, uh, it was not fun, but, you know, I guess I could have been doing it while it was, you know, in the active process of leaking. That kind of would have sucked. Um, I changed out the supply valves in the laundry room, the toilet of the tiny bathroom, and downstairs uh, in the Naughty Pine Pub for that sink that we're not going to use as a sink anymore. Uh, I went full uh, uh, full TV mode and used a, as you've seen on TV, a product to seal up um, the, uh, actually both sides of the uh, foundation crack, uh, just in case the, you know, the hydraulic concrete didn't do the job. Uh, I determined that the uh, washer supply valve has a leak in the hot water side. Uh, I have ordered a replacement and hopefully we can get that sorted. Um, it actually just arrived in the mail today, but we'll see if we can't get it in tomorrow. Um, Mrs. Rattlecan continued uh, trying to get all of the debris out of the fins on our baseboard heaters. And um, yeah, it's gross. Um, I don't know how she does it. Uh, but the results, well, the results speak for themselves. Uh, I finished roughing in the flooring transition from the breakfast nook into the laundry room so that we will have a, uh, a what I think is a, is a cleaner transition so that when the door is closed, all you see is wood. And then when you open the door, that's when you'll see the tile. Um, I worked on sealing the crawl space grates with uh, two inch foam insulation and uh, spray foam. And uh, today I um, began the, uh, the puzzle of trying to get um, the cement board laid down in the laundry room and the tiny bathroom uh, in a way that just didn't look horrible. Uh, and was structurally sound. I, I don't know, I had some moderate success. Remember, I don't do this stuff, okay? Um, so I'm not showing you how to do things. I'm showing you how, you know, a shlemiel or a shlemazel like me does stuff. Um, and, you know, at the tail end of the day, uh, that's when, uh, well, that's when, you know, it got kind of exciting. But, uh, you know, luckily that all passed, you know, we got, you know, another inch of rain uh, out of it. Um, and, and, you know, it was a false alarm on the siren. So anyways, that's what we did this week. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We love talking to you guys and, and hearing the comments and replying to those comments. Um, yeah, you guys have a great weekend. Cheers. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. 
Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>